Immanuel Kant, the great synthesizer. Anna Greenspan discusses in Capitalism's Transcendental Time Machine, in order to create a foundation on what could be known with certainty, it was Descartes who claimed that we must imagine an evil demon who has deceived us in an illusory world, throwing out all presuppositions on knowing itself. Akin to the idea of a brain in a vat where all can be deception, much akin to an existence seen in the movie, for example, The Matrix, Descartes concludes it would only be through one's consciousness that implies one's existence, his famous cogito ergo sum, or I think, therefore I am. With mental phenomenon being non-physical, we get a mind-body dualism with this. As we discussed with Kant, however, space and time are mere representations and not things in of themselves. On the one hand, they are both empirically real, and also on the other hand, transcendentally ideal. The self-consciousness of Descartes is thus trapped to these representations of space and time. In other words, space and time become empirical and observable phenomenon that have nothing to do with the noumenon. Descartes' arguments for self-consciousness as the basis of knowing thus dissolve away, taking over to the experiential realm of space and time. Descartes' I think, therefore I am can be altered to I think, therefore I can never know. As we discussed with Kierkegaard, this is the paradox of thought, where we seek to discover something that thought cannot think. The transcendental ideal thus overtakes the empirical real and imminent experience. In analytic judgments, predicates of sentences are contained in their subjects. Oppositely, in synthetic judgments, predicates are distinct from their subjects, and thus add information that we didn't know about the subject. To Kant, Synthetic a priori judgments are thus possible and serve as the basis for math and science itself. Kant's transcendental I, in opposition to Descartes' I and I think therefore I am, can never be known, but is a precondition needed for knowing itself. It is transcendental and thus outside all experience. In a sense, one can never know what they actually are. As Rimbaud writes, I is another that arrives at the unknown, thus the need to turn oneself into a seer or prophet. All else where we believe we can know is what Rimbaud calls the false significance of self. We cannot know what we ever are, a torturous truth that is outside of words and thus remains unspeakable. Those poor poets who attempt to capture infinity when it cannot be pinned down upon the page. Kant was the great synthesizer in this sense. The unknown alien of the outside, caught to land in the transcendental throes of capitalism in the form of a vampirically fanged noumena, infects us all parasitically, peeking into existence through spiraling templexities as time dilates, time traveling us all into the future, where Descartes' cogito ergo sum cannot exercise the evil demon now taken over to Kantian transcendence. We can trip on Kant's synthesizer. Taken over to electronic technology, we can't ignore his techno any longer. And as the Electric Six song states, in the end, technology under the world will set us free. See you all at the Escachon. And remember, you aren't what you think you are.